The entire compound is the dome of the rock. It's not just the mosque. The mosque is sitting at the top of the rock, but the entire compound is the sanctuary, the haram, uh, and the Masjid al -Aqsa. The Masjid Al-Aqsa is more than 200 ma'alam. As you can see, four minarets, as you can see, in uh, 15 gates. Five of those gates don't um, get open, but the rest are for uh, use. And basically, as part of the deal that was um, set in place, I think, after um, with um, the Hashemite Kingdom and Jordan being the custodian of this um, holy sanctuary, cameras were put into place um, to somehow monitor to make sure that, of course, it's a safe area and that it doesn't get transgressed by um, the Zionist entity. But, um, of course, um, as you know, since they're controlling that city right now, they always try to remove the cameras. And if they put the cameras, it's always for not the purpose of keeping the place secure, but to, to definitely uh, monitor and watch the um, people, the faithful, coming to pray. Uh, as a control device and not as a uh, purpose, the purpose that was intended for us. Your campaign, what they're trying to do is to try and, of course, as much control who enters and who prays by setting either limits and conditions, uh, but also he's saying two types of controls. Either a control, a spatial control, by saying, okay, you guys actually don't need this whole space, so we're taking the rest of the space, or a time and a periodic kind of a control by saying, oh, you only pray during these times, so these times are for you, and the rest of the time is for us. So all types of attempts to kind of, of course, control um, the um, entry and uh, for Muslims and the faithful to be um, in the uh, holy sanctuary of Masjid al-Aqsa. Just be controlled by the Zionist entity and, and, and its occupation. Um, this is the western wall of Hayat al -Ghabi. The western wall right here, or the Wailing Wall as you know, is what they're claiming is their uh, most religious site and therefore this is where they're basically choking point. This is where there, you have attempts to prevent people from coming in, but when you have anybody who is of course of the of the Jewish faith, they're allowed to come in even as tourists to just walk around, whereas Muslims who actually want to come here and pray can't come and pray. And this is part of the attempt of saying that this entire wall and actually everything underneath it as they claim belongs to what used to be the Temple of Solomon, which is the Wailing Wall is the only thing that's remaining from that temple, which is considered the holiest place for them. So this is basically your point of, um, of conflict or your point of contact. And um, most of the action is happening there because their checkpoints are over there. And this is where they're, like I said, choking and preventing people who are Muslims or faithful to come in to pray. Yeah, whereas their people, it's welcome for them, open space, come in, even as just tourists or just to walk around, which adds insult to the wound because you can't pray in your own religious site. Whereas other people who don't have anything to do with it keep on coming and, um, and using the place. And that's part of the attempt, of course, fully controlling. Um, the uh, holy sanctuary.